The Warhammer Invasion Living Card Game is played in three zones. The Kingdom, the Quest Zone, and the Battlefield. Armies, heroes, villains, and creatures from the Old World are played into these zones, with the goal of acquiring resources in the Kingdom, drawing more cards in the Quest Zone, and attacking opponents in the Battlefield. Attacking the opponent leads to the ultimate goal of burning down the sections of his capital. The first player to burn two of the three sections on his opponent's capital wins the game. A player's turn is divided into four phases, which are taken in this order. Kingdom phase, quest phase, capital phase, battlefield phase. During the kingdom phase, the active player resets his resources by returning all of his unused resources to the center of the play area and then taking one resource for each power in his kingdom. The kingdom starts with a base power of three. Units and support cards that have been played to the kingdom zone on the capital board will provide one additional resource for each power icon on those cards. During the quest phase, the active player draws one card for each power in his quest zone. The quest zone starts with a base power of one. As in the kingdom zone, units and support cards played to the quest zone will provide one additional card for each power icon on those cards. The capital phase is the only phase in which a player is allowed to play unit, support and quest cards from his hand to his three zones. In order for a player to play a card from his hand, he must pay for it by spending a sufficient number of resources equal to the card's total cost by returning them to the pool in the center of the play area. When a unit, support or quest card is played in this manner, the controller of the card chooses where, among his three zones, the card is placed. During this phase, the active player also has the option of playing a card face down as a development in any one of his zones. One development can be played by the active player each turn. A development adds one hit point to the zone in which it was played. Each zone starts with eight hit points, and developing a zone is a useful means of protecting it from being overrun by an opponent. During the battlefield phase, the active player has the option of attacking one of his opponent's zones with any number of units in his battlefield. The defending player then has the option of defending the attack zone with any number of units that are stationed in that zone. The goal of attacking a zone is to damage that section of the opponent's capital. Any time a section has as many or more damage tokens as it has hit points, that section is considered overrun and burning. All damage tokens on that section are immediately replaced with a burn token. If two of the player's three sections are burning, that player has lost the game.